Welcome back to Uncharted. Me and the boys are actually gonna be competing for a charitable donation by our two sponsors, Afco and The Catch Company. Yes, Vic? Come on up here, Vic! Second blow up, dude, on the ball. Three, we're tripled. Oh yeah, we got it figured out, man. We we put the pieces of the puzzle together. All it took was one bite on that frog in the cheese to just dial it in and let us know that's what they want. So tomorrow, we're gonna hammer them up shallow, dirt, dirt, shallow. We're just gonna pop, pop, let them tell us what they want. And we are coming at you with day four, the last and final day. Gonna open up the little challenge card here and see what we got in store for the last day. This is by far gonna be the best day possible. We have the challenges right here, as you guys can see. So it looks like today, each fish caught is 100 points. We're anteing up. For people that are like behind, like myself, this is the day to catch up with big points. Most fish caught. 250 points. Yesterday was the biggest fish. Today is the most fish. So we're back to a numbers game. Weston, myself, and Caleb, last day out here. In the lead right now, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna predict Caleb's in the lead, then Weston, and then me. But like I said, we got big points on the line today. And it's anybody's game, honestly. So we're here in Cali, and let's get it going. starting off the morning in a little bit different scenery than we were fishing yesterday. Yesterday we were on the south end, a little bit deeper, rockier areas, um, but we got on that frog bite at the end of the night that keyed us in to what these fish actually want, and it's a real slow frog. So we came up to the north end of the lake, it's real shallow, and there's a lot of grass, a lot of snot, a lot of stuff for these fish to to get under and just hide in the shade. And so we're up here, we're gonna frog our way down this bank, hopefully catch a big one, and see what the rest of the day has in store for us. Got him. All right, there we go. He said of the day so far. Okay, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We'll see. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. Wow. Good fish. What a fish for the first one of the morning. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. That's probably a four plus. She's got some length. Let me tell you that much. Oh, on the filth. Feels good to get a top water blow up. Woo! They like bullfrogs out here on Clear Lake. What a way to kick off the morning. The first 100 points on the board, straight out of the Thule's. Wow, I gave that fish a second too. That was a fun eat and a fun catch. And uh, I'm actually competing this week on behalf of Catchco and Aftco for a charitable donation that these points are going towards for Wounded Warriors Project. They provide resources for veterans that have served and incurred a mental or physical injury. And so I could not be more excited about this first catch of the day right here. And we're going for most fish today, right? Not biggest fish. 250 for most fish. Uh, 250 for most fish. All right, so we're gonna get this one back in the water and we're gonna hunt for more and hopefully we can get a bunch of blow ups on this whole Thule line. <laughs> Let's go, man. You literally can't throw it. 
Yeah. Got him. Nice, nice. Got him. Weston with number two of the day. Good He's one. running too. Good one, good one, yeah. He's running at me. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad, not bad. Just, just get him in here. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think that's a five plus. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the same length, but she's got some girth too. Oh, there we go. Dude. Woo Filthy frog for the win. I think this one's going above five, you guys. She's a, she's a healthy one. Wow, my goodness. Couple minutes over here on the other side of the lake, we we're chasing the shade. Not as much of it as we would have liked, but if you get right up on those tulies, they're hiding in there. That was maybe one or two pops in. Boosh! All right, you guys, being this is definitely my biggest Cali bass, we had to put her on the scale. Four and three quarters is what she came out to be. Look at that fish, man. I'd love to tell you all about her, but we're gonna go ahead and get her back in the water. We got numbers to catch. That is gonna be what provides the big score today, not the weight. So we're gonna go ahead and let her go. Not as big. Watch them come out of the two leaves. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Solid fish for me. First one of the day on the frog. Same bank, Weston just caught his fish on. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, cameraman was busy with Weston's fish, uh, so I went ahead and re released mine, but that's another 100 points towards my total. Uh, frog bites on fire right now, guys. I mean, that's two bites within about five seconds of each other. So we're gonna get back to frogging, go keep going down this bank, and I can almost guarantee you we're gonna catch a fish bigger than what Weston just had. Um, I'm actually re-tying right now. I just checked my knot and uh, there's a little slippage on the braid. So I'm just tying the standard polymer right here on this uh, Guggen Squad Poppin' Frog. Just gonna give you guys a couple tips um, on how we're catching these frogfish. One tip with braid is I always like to leave just a little bit extra tag end um, and just in case that braid does slip. Um, but the way that the, we are working these frogs is very, very specific. It's a very slow, subtle retrieve. We've located the fish, tucked back into the tulies, underneath the scum, and uh, you just have to convince them to bite. And one of the key things is making sure that your frog is as close to the structure as possible. As you guys saw on that last fish catch, I made one cast and it was probably 10 inches off the tulie. I, I recasted, touching the tulie and got that fish to eat the frog. And because this bite is so subtle, they're not just absolutely coming out of the water and exploding it. You have to wait that one, maybe two seconds of a pause so that that frog can be engulfed before you set the hook. And we're throwing this on some heavy braided line. I have mine rigged up with 65 pound test. You need something really heavy just to pull them out of that muck. A very heavy stout rod. I'm throwing this on a five power um, and just short enough of a rod this is a 7-3 so that I can get that walking action. And like I said, guys, the bite is so subtle. They're not exploding on it. They're just slurping it as you just twitch, twitch, pause. Let's get back to fishing. Yeah, the grass. Go, grass. What you got? There we go. Oh, that takes big fish, dude. I don't know. That it's going to be close. It's going to be close. <sighs> All right, guys. That is another frog fish, man. We're just going down the bank, targeting this reed edge, and we're getting blessed with some big, healthy, clear lake fish right there. 
That's another 50 points for me. That brings me, to, or no, no, another 100 points for me. That brings my total to 200, tied with Weston right now. I'm gonna get a weight on this thing because I wanna know how big she is. Four fifty-eight, ladies and gentlemen. Four five eight. I think that's mine. Was like four five two. Oh four, yeah, five, so four. just barely beat Weston for big fish of the day. That doesn't mean anything, but hey, look at that. That's a solid, healthy fish right there, man. God, I love the frog bite, man. You can't beat it. Oh, that blew up on my, he blew up on my line. Oh, he got, got it. another one. Nice. Not as big, Back but. to back. Back to back out here. Get in the oh. boat. Get in the boat. Wow. Oh. Got him. Nice one. Nice one. Told you, told you I didn't cast close enough, and what I do, oh yeah, big one. Okay. All right, guys, there's another one for me. That's four fish total, equaling 400 pounds. Another frog blow up, man. Gotta love it. You're running away with it, man. Shout out to BF Goodrich, man. They hooked us up. Uh, provided some tires for us for this trip. We've been driving all over California, all the way from the San Francisco Bay Area up to Clear Lake, windy roads, slick boat ramps, and even with all the mileage, they didn't skip a beat. They just brought out the blue one because the yellow one was there. I don't know if we're supposed to walk up from here or drive oh, in. I have zero clue. I'm, I'm right. just gonna stay right here and okay, look well, at these beauties, dude. We need to check. Yeah. All right, guys. This is the big secret that we have been hiding from you. This is the final stop on the Uncharted series, and what better way to end it by driving some. California exotic cars. The plan is myself, Weston, and Caleb, we're all gonna hop in these cars. We're all gonna drive each car. We're gonna do a scenic route. I'm not really sure 100% where we're going, but I do know we're gonna be driving around, you know, getting the scenery, messing around with all of the accessories and stuff like that in the new cars, and just having a good time. So I'm really excited. I'm not a really big car guy, so I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> but I, I know that's a that Lamborghini. Right here? Yeah, no, I see it like in like Fast and Furious, but that's like my knowledge to all of this. You are you probably have more of an appreciation for like cars and stuff like that. I, I, well, I think everyone's got an appreciation for these right here. I mean, look, you got a brand new orange McLaren top down in California on the back roads. It's about to get fun. most expensive car I've ever driven in my life. It feels really well though. It's like, it's shifting well. It sounds super cool. Obviously it looks pretty cool. Everybody's waving at me and stuff and it just looks super pretty out here. We got the mountains in the background. I feel like I'm in Fast and the Furious right now, guys. We're, we're like lined up to go rob a freaking semi truck or something. Oh, she go, oh, she does go, oh, wow. She does play. Look at these McLarens, dude. Y'all y'all don't know how clean you look up here. This is insane. Okay, they're opening up. They're opening up. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, she's got acceleration. Oh, 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 Oh my god. 
garage. I don't know if y'all have ever driven a Lambo before. Yeah, this is not a Camry. John's coming up quick. You know, like in a roller coaster when you go down, like your stomach drops and you get that weird feeling? That just happened from just propelling yourself so fast. That was insane. Oh my gosh. This is better than Six Flags. You guys ready for this? The long way home. Oh, first gear, second gear. John, step on it, boy. Let's go. You've got me running in circles. Can't keep my feet on the ground. Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. Last. Just keep going around, going around. I think I found sport mode. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Nothing but sunshine, sunshine and happiness. Man, this series has just been an absolute blast to film and record. And I mean, we got onto just an absolute top water blow up session today. And now we're here driving some supercars. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. I am so stoked. You got me running in circles. I don't ever want to slow down. Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. Just that just one feels good. Going around, going around. You got me running in circles. I can't keep both feet on the ground. <laughs> Big in and out guy. Just keep going around, going around. Just keep going around, going around. Got me spinning in circles. an amazing week out here in NorCal. An absolute blast. It started off with some amazing fishing on the California Delta. Such a unique river system. Then we made our way up north to the country's oldest lake. We fished Clear Lake and it seemed like the fishing got better each and every day with yep. some amazing times. Big catches. A lot of points on the board. And speaking of, we're going to go ahead and get these totals out for you right now. Let's go ahead and calculate and see who won this thing. Alright Weston, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's looking like the point totals for the week is going to be in last place with 300 points, yours truly, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and then taking the silver medal with 875 points, myself, which leaves Caleb in the lead <laughs> with 1,550 points, literally caught so many fish, and he got the most fish today. Put it all together, man. How'd you do it? Oh, man. I mean, it was a little bit of a rough start, starting on the Delta on the home waters, but we slowly put the pieces together, and we just let the fish tell us what they want. Man, we picked up the frog, doing exactly what I love to do. I put my head down, and I just grinded, man. And I, I feel bad because I just didn't leave you guys any fish, man. I was just <laughs> oh, out there. Oh, no, you're bad. bad. It's all right, bro. Uh, okay, okay. I'm glad you won it because the charity that you were fishing for well, it's, it makes kind of sense that it's going back to this river, the system that you fish all the time. Absolutely. I'm so stoked to win this event, man, and be able to use the charitable donation from Catchco and AFCO to go towards Restore the Delta. Man, it's just so cool that I could bring that money back to my local waters um, and give it to an organization that's just gonna ensure that our river system is kept healthy and thriving. Well, congrats, man. An absolute blast up here in NorCal. It's been an absolute blast, and we can't wait to see you guys on the next installment of Uncharted. Let us know where you want to see us go. Until then, peace out.